D two D N Y Real World H V A C simplified. And now, in this video, I've got a furnace here. Um, no heat service call. So when I came in here, I was getting seven flashes. Ignition lockout, ignition retry lockout. Okay, so this ignition retry lockout, I don't even know what brand furnace this is. Um, it is a Johnson Control or Unitary Products. Johnson controls or unitary products. So this was giving me seven flashes on the uh, the LED right here. And um, let me go ahead and hold this this switch and there's a, there's a panel switch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it in. And basically, the seven flashes is um, the ignition retry lockout is basically when it initiates the ignition sequence and open the gas valve, the flame comes on, but it didn't sense the flame. So when it, when, once it doesn't sense the flame, it goes into retry and it does it three times, three times. Three times with the charm. After three times, um, it will lock out and give you the seven flash on this particular furnace. Again, this is a unitary Johnson Johnson control unitary products that's what this is so um I already solved the problem figured it out um, you can see I have my flame sensor the wire disconnected because I want to demonstrate to you guys you know the actual problem or what happens and um so what I did I, I just pulled the flame sensor out and I used my uh I didn't have any sandpaper so I use my blade right here to just scrape it, you know, scrape the uh, flame sensor, clean off all the corrosion off of it, get it nice and shiny. But it's good to use a piece of, uh, you know, um, small grit or low grit sandpaper or emery cloth and clean it off. And that, uh, just the uh, quarter inch screw. Now this is for pros only, not do it yourself first. Pros only, because this stuff is dangerous. You don't know what you're doing, you will burn your house down. So pros only, please. This is not for do it yourself first. I know no one, or no one coming here and saying that, oh, you know, I watch your video and I went and burned my house down. Okay, this is a flame sensor right here. All right, simple as that. Um, so like I said, I already cleaned this one. Already it's starting to look a little bit dirty already. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. But for now, to get this unit going, I cleaned it and that seems to do the trick. It came back online. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna fire up the furnace. It is calling for heat. I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna push in the door switch right here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through the sequence. You're gonna see so it's igniting you see the glow the igniter is blowing up and it's going to try to light it's going to light but it won't sense in the flame there you go all right so that's one it's going to cut back off and it's going to do this three times guys three times and then it's going to lock out and give you that seven flashes okay and as you can see, it's doing that because I have no flame sensor. No flame sensor installed, so that's what it's doing. Um, it lights up. Here we go, number two. Second try. Okay, 
that's that the second try and this is a good maintenance tip like if you at the beginning of the season you're going to want to just you know make sure you replace your flame sensor or pull it out and clean it okay this is a pro tip right here again this is for pros only so here is third try three times the charm Seven flashes. Okay. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this. Like I said, I've already cleaned it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this. And I'm going to also show you how to retrieve the codes, the last code. Because once once you turn once the thermostat satisfies and turns off, um, it automatically resets. So you'll come on a service call and you'll turn it on, and you'll think that everything is all right. Because sometimes with the uh, sometimes with the flame sensor not sensing the flame, it's an in intermittent thing. It will work one day, another day it doesn't work. So you know to retrieve the last code. You know whatever it locked out on whether it be a limit right here uh air proven sensor right here for the for the induction motor um i'm going to show you how to retrieve the, the last fault fault code okay so what you want to do is make sure that you're not calling for any heat that there is no heating signal actually it's right there the instruction and here's a code list for this unitary Johnson Controls unit. So if you don't have that, it is, it is wiring is damaged. Here you go. You can pause this video and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the call for heat, which is a W wire, because that's required to retrieve the last code. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and uh, hit this with the power button. So I'm holding on the door switch or the panel switch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press this. Uh, see that black button right here? It says last, last arrow, last arrow. This button right here. See it? I'm gonna go ahead and press that. So I just pressed it. I'm just gonna read the last four codes. All right, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and put the the, uh, the heating signal back. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the fan back as well. Because I'm done with this. All right, just put the, the heating wire. This is the W. It's back in there. This is the fan signal from the thermostat. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Quick video here for you guys. Right. Here you go. So, quick tip. Again, during the beginning of the winter, you want to clean your flame sensor, or you want to go ahead and replace that. You know, as a uh, you know, as a, as a as a maintenance item. All right. It's cheap. It's quick. It's simple. It's easy. It will save you and your client a lot of headaches throughout the cold season. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis all right as you can see it's still running so we are good to go Again, pros only. This is not for do-it-yourselfers. All right, I'm gonna close this video off.